In this question, we will find the multiple representations of polar coordinates. Polar coordinates, unlike rectangular coordinates, have many ways to represent it. So imagine this is a polar grid and see the point 1. Imagine this is the radius of 1 and 150 degrees is in between over here in the second quadrant. So one way, the easiest way is to go 1 from this side and 150 degree. Okay, over here we go. That is the way to represent it. Another way would be the other side represent it like this. So it will be 1 itself. But the other way, how it is 360 minus 150, that will be how much 180 plus uh, 210 degrees. So that's one more. Now you will have two of them in positive, two of them in negative, the opposite sign. So I'll have minus 1, minus 1. That means if I have this line, instead of coming directly to this point, I can come anyway to this point until it's minus 1. So it'll be other side of the coordinate, uh, other side of the line. So how much is this degree? So here it is 30 over here, it'll be 30 minus 30 degrees. But how exactly will you find this? So I can easily tell you this is 30 minus 30 degrees. Or I can come like this by... 330 degrees. Since this is in the choices, right, it's very, very easy to find this out. Look at this, 150, right? 150, add 180 to this. So here when you add 180, it's going to be 330 degrees. That's one answer. And subtract 180, plus or minus, so 150 minus 180, that's going to be minus 30 degrees. So minus 30. That's how we can multiple represent this in different ways. Now even the second one. Now already minus 2 is given. So that means, uh, let me just clear this off. The first one, I hope this is clear. You can see the answers. Yeah, it's minus 1, minus 30 and all the same answers we have got. Now what about the next one? Let's think this is the coordinate. 300 degrees is somewhere over here. This is 270 degrees. You should know that. This is 0. It starts with 0, 90, 180, 270, and then we are back to 360. You have to know the basic understanding of the unit circle. 300 degrees would mean something over here. And imagine this is 2, unit radius of 2. But now we are not going to go over here. We are going to the other side. Why? Because it's minus 2. So we go to the other side, and this will be your point, not this one. So that's one way to come over here, 300. And one more way is minus 60 degrees, isn't it? So minus 2, comma, minus 60 degrees. How can we reach here at this point directly? From here to here. So how do we know that? It's just 300, the whole thing, minus C. 300 was still here. If you subtract 180, you will reach over here, right? So 300 minus 180, that's going to give us 220. Sorry, 120. So it'll be 2, 120. So this 120 means from year to year. So how will we go the other side? Now if you add 180, it exceeds more than 360. So we have to be within that. So here, this much is 120. How much will be the other side? It's going to be 90, 180, and 200 and something. But how do you exactly find it? It's very simple. 360 degrees minus 120 degrees. It's going to be 240 degrees, but minus. Now, actually, I made a mistake. You can just take it as 120 minus 360. You will get exactly this value. Hope that's clear. So the three, sorry, four ways to represent. One is already given. One more would be 2, 120 degree, which we directly did it. Minus 2 and minus 60 degrees and 2 and minus 240 degrees. So you can just play around it in your own ways. You can find this out. Now, what I do is if I get a radian value, I just convert this to degrees and then it's easier to solve. To convert this or this to radian, so this is minus, I'll do that one. Minus 7 instead of 5, just put 180 degrees divided by 6. So what is that? What's that degree? It's negative 210. So this is 210 degrees but minus. So here minus 210, 90, 180, and 30 over here somewhere. And it's positive 4, so this is the point. Now to go the other side, what you need to do is just add 360 to this, you'll get 360, um, it's going to be 150. From year to year, it's 150 degrees. So we have 4, 150 degree, that is one more point, 4, minus 210. 
two other points would be negative four. So what will be this one? It is going to be this point over here and then you reverse it. So it's minus four, isn't it? How would you come over here? So we have 210, so 210 minus 2 means so much, right? Just subtract 180 from it. I'm not going to take the negative. See, it's just from here you can see this is how much? 210. If I remove 180, I'm going to come and get this point. So I'll just do minus 210 plus 180. So I'll get the exact value. It's 30 degrees. That's minus 30. So this is minus 30 degrees. And from this side, it'll be plus 330 degrees. So this will be minus 30 degrees and 330 degrees. Similarly, you can solve the other problems. There's nothing much in this. Okay, now what happens with the answers? Of course, the answers have been radian, right? So you need to convert this. Let me show you how to convert. We know the first one, negative 210 is 7 pi by 6. What about 330 degrees? So all you do is write 330 degrees divided by 180 because 180 is pi value and multiplied by pi. That's the answer, 11 pi by 6. That's the last one, minus 4 and 11 pi by 6. What about the minus 30? So just remove this and make it minus 30. It's minus 1 by 6 pi or minus pi by 6. And what was the other value we got? 150. So 150 is over here. That's 5 pi by 6. And yes, here you go. Those are the correct answers. So you get it in degrees and then convert back to radians. Or if you're comfortable with radians, you can go ahead with that as well. Similarly, please do these problems and then check the answers here. These ones as well, It's I find it easier to convert to degrees and then find the multiple representations. Lastly, over here, see now if 1 has minus 30, we, have, we are getting the same. That's 330, 150 minus 210. Now, the, these will be the same thing, but remember this 2. You should be very careful. There will be two positive values, two negative values. You can see here two positive, two negative every time. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.